Vincent Leonard Price Jr., May 27, 1911, October 25, 1993, was an American actor best known for his performances in horror films, although his career spanned other genres. He appeared on stage, television, and radio, and in more than 100 films. He has two stars on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, one for motion pictures and one for television. His first film role was as leading man in the 1938 comedy service Deluxe. Price became well known as a character actor, appearing in films such as The Song of Bernadette, 1943, Laura, 1944, The Keys of the Kingdom, 1944, Leave Her to Heaven, 1945, Dragonwick, 1946, and The Ten Commandments, 1956. He established himself as a recognizable horror movie star after his leading role in House of Wax, 1953. He subsequently starred in other successful or cult horror films, including The Fly, 1958, House on Haunted Hill, 1959, The Tingler, 1959, The Last Man on Earth, 1964, Witchfinder General, 1968, The Abominable Drive, Phoebes, 1971, and Theater of Blood, 1973. He was particularly known for his collaborations with Roger Corman on Edgar Allan Poe adaptations such as House of Usher, 1960, The Pit and the Pendulum, 1961, and The Mask of the Red Death, 1964. Price occasionally appeared on television series, such as in Batman as Egghead. In his later years, he voiced the villainous Professor Rattigan in Disney's classic animated film The Great Mouse Detective 1986, then appeared in the drama The Whales of August, 1987, which earned him an Independent Spirit Award for Best Supporting Male Nomination, and in Tim Burton's Edward Scissorhands, 1990, his last theatrical release. For his contributions to cinema, especially to genre films, he has received Lifetime Achievement or Special Tribute Awards from Academy of Science Fiction, Fantasy, and Horror Films, Fantasporto, Bram Stoker Awards, and Los Angeles Film Critics Association. Known for his iconic voice, Price narrated several animation films, radio dramas and documentaries, as well as the monologue on Michael Jackson's song Thriller. For his voice work in Great American Speeches, 1959, he was nominated for a Grammy Award for Best Spoken Word Album. Price was also an art collector and arts consultant, with a degree in art history, and he lectured and wrote books on the subject. The Vincent Price Art Museum at East Los Angeles College is named in his honor. He was also a noted gourmet cook. Price was born on May 27, 1911, in St. Louis, Missouri, the youngest of the four children of Vincent Leonard Price Sr., president of the National Candy Company, and his wife Marguerite Cobb, nay Wilcox, Price. His grandfather was Vincent Clarence Price, who invented Dr. Price's baking powder, the first cream of tartar-based baking powder, and it secured the family's fortune. Price was of Welsh and English descent and was a descendant of Peregrine White, the first white child born in colonial Massachusetts, being born on the Mayflower while it was in Provincetown Harbor. Price attended the St. Louis Country Day School and Milford Academy in Milford, Connecticut. In 1933, he graduated with a degree in English and a minor in art history from Yale University, where he worked on the campus humor magazine The Yale Record. After teaching for a year, he entered the Courtauld Institute of Art in London, intending to study for a master's degree in fine arts. Instead, he was drawn to the theater, first appearing on stage professionally in 1934. His acting career began in London in 1935, performing with Orson Welles's Mercury Theatre. In 1936, Price appeared as Prince Albert in the American production of Lawrence Houseman's play Victoria Regina, which starred Helen Hayes in the title role of Queen Victoria. Price started out in films as a character actor. 
he made his film debut in Service de Lutz, 1938, and established himself in the film Laura, 1944, opposite Jean Tierney, directed by Otto Preminger. He played Joseph Smith in the movie Brigham Young, 1940, and William Gibbs McAdoo in Wilson, 1944, as well as Bernadette's prosecutor, Vital Dutour, in The Song of Bernadette, 1943, and as a pretentious priest in The Keys of the Kingdom, 1944. His first venture into the horror genre, for which he later became best known, was in the Boris Karloff film Tower of London, 1939. The following year, Price portrayed the title character in The Invisible Man Returns, a role he reprised in a voice-only cameo in the closing scene of the horror comedy spoof Abbott and Costello Meet Frankenstein released in 1948. Price reunited with Tierney in Leave Her to Heaven, 1945, and Dragonwick, 1946. He also had many villainous roles in film noir thrillers such as The Web, 1947, The Long Night, 1947, Rogue's Regiment, 1948, and The Bribe, 1949, with Robert Taylor, Ava Gardner, and Charles Lawton. His first starring role was as conman James Revis in the biopic The Baron of Arizona, 1950. He did a comedic turn as the tycoon Burn Bridge Waters, co-starring with Ronald Coleman in Champagne for Caesar, also 1950, one of his favorite film roles. He was active in radio, portraying the Robin Hood-inspired crime fighter Simon Templar in The Saint, which ran from 1947 to 1951. In the 1950s, Price moved into more regular horror film roles with the leading role in House of Wax, 1953, as a homicidal sculptor, the first three-dimensional film to land in the year's top ten at the North American box office. His next roles were The Mad Magician, 1954, The Monster Movie The Fly 1958, and its sequel Return of the Fly, 1959. That same year, he starred in two thrillers by producer-director William Castle, House on Haunted Hill as eccentric millionaire Frederick Loren, and The Tingler as Dr. Warren Chapin, who discovered the titular creature. He appeared in the radio drama Three Skeleton Key, the story of an island lighthouse besieged by an army of rats. He first performed the work in 1950 on Escape and returned to it in 1956 and 1958 for Suspense. Outside the horror realm, Price played Bakker, the master builder, in The Ten Commandments released in 1956. About this time, he also appeared in episodes of a number of television shows, including Science Fiction Theater, Playhouse 90, and General Electric Theater. In the 1955-56 television season, he was cast three times on the religion anthology series Crossroads. In the 1955 episode Clean Up, Price portrayed the Reverend Robert Russell. In 1956, he was cast as Rabbi Gershom Mendes Satius in The Rebel, and as the Reverend Alfred W. Price in God's Healing. In the 1960s, Price achieved a number of low-budget filmmaking successes with Roger Corman and American International Pictures Ape starting with The House of Usher, 1960, which earned over $2 million at the box office in the United States and led to the subsequent Edgar Allan Poe adaptations of The Pit and the Pendulum, 1961, Tales of Terror, 1962, The Comedy of Terrors, 1963, The Raven, 1963, The Mask of the Red Death, 1964, and The Tomb of Legia, 1964. He starred in The Last Man on Earth 1964, the first adaptation of the Richard Matheson novel I Am Legend, and portrayed witch hunter Matthew Hopkins in Witch Finder General, U.S., The Conqueror Worm, 1968, set during the English Civil War. He starred in comedy films such as Dr. Goldgut and the Bikini Machine, 1965, and its sequel Dr. Goldgut and the Girl Bombs, 1966. In 1968, he played the part of an eccentric artist in the musical Darling of the Day, opposite Patricia Rotledge. 
In the 1960s, Price began his role as a guest on the television game show Hollywood Squares, becoming a semi-regular in the 1970s, including being one of the guest panelists on the finale in 1980. Price made many guest star appearances in television shows during the decade, including The Red Skelton Show, Daniel Boone, F Troop, Get Smart, The Man from UNCLE, and Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea. He had a recurring role in the Batman TV series as the villain Egghead from 1966 to 1967. In 1964, he provided the narration for the Tombstone Historama in Tombstone, Arizona, which was still in operation as of 2016. He also starred as the host of the Australian TV series If These Walls Could Speak, in which a short history of a historical building, supposedly narrated by the building itself, was covered, and as the narrating voice of the building. During the early 1970s, Price hosted and starred in BBC Radio's horror and mystery series The Price of Fear. He accepted a cameo part in the Canadian children's television program The Hilarious House of Frightenstein, 1971, in Hamilton, Ontario, on the local television station CHCH. In addition to the opening and closing monologues, his role in the show was to recite poems about various characters, sometimes wearing a cloak or other costumes. In 1969, Price recorded Witchcraft, Magic, an adventure in demonology, a double album on the history and practice of witchcraft, including folk legends, references to witches in literature and art, facts on communication with spirits, demonology and necromancy, some herbal recipes, and an introduction to the Wicca faith. Price appeared in The Abominable Dr. Phoebes, 1971, its sequel Dr. Phoebes Rises Again, 1972, and Theatre of Blood, 1973, in which he portrayed one of two serial killers. That same year, he appeared as himself in Mooch Goes to Hollywood, a film written by Jim Backus. He was an admirer of the works of Edgar Allan Poe, and in 1975 visited the Edgar Allan Poe Museum, Richmond, Virginia, where he had his picture taken with the museum's popular stuffed raven. Price provided a monologue for the Alice Cooper song Welcome to My Nightmare in 1975, and he appeared in the corresponding TV special Alice Cooper, The Nightmare. He starred for a year in the early 1970s in the syndicated daily radio program Tales of the Unexplained. He made guest appearances in a 1970 episode of Here's Lucy, showcasing his art expertise, and in a 1972 episode of ABC's The Brady Bunch, in which he played a deranged archaeologist. In October 1976, he appeared as the featured guest in an episode of The Muppet Show. In 1976, Price recorded a cover of Bobby Boris Pickett's Monster Mash as a 45 revolution per minute single putting his voice to a backing track laid down in London by record producers Bob Newby and Ken Weston. It was released on both sides of the Atlantic later that year without much success. In 1982, Price provided the narrator's voice in Vincent, Tim Burton's six-minute film about a young boy who flashes from reality into a fantasy where he is Vincent Price. He appeared as Sir Despard Murgatroyd in a 1982 television production of Gilbert and Sullivan's Ruddy Gore, with Keith Michel as Robin O'Cappell. In 1982, Price provided the spoken word sequence to the end of the Michael Jackson song Thriller. In 1983, he played the sinister man in the British spoof horror film Bloodbath at the House of Death. He appeared in House of the Long Shadows with Christopher Lee, Peter Cushing, and John Carradine. He had worked with each of those actors at least once in previous decades, but this was the first time that all had teamed up. One of his last major roles, and one of his favorites, was as the voice of Professor Attigan in Walt Disney Pictures' The Great Mouse Detective in 1986. From 1981 to 1989, Price hosted the PBS television series Mystery. In 1985, he provided voice talent on the Hanna-Barbera series The Thirteen Ghosts of Scooby-Doo as the mysterious Vincent Van Gogh who aided Scooby-Doo, Scrappy-Doo, 
and the gang in recapturing 13 demons. He was a lifelong fan of roller coasters, and he narrated a 1987 30 minute documentary on the history of roller coasters and amusement parks, including Coney Island. During this time, 1985 to 1989, he appeared in horror themed commercials for Tilex Bathroom Cleanser. In 1984, Price appeared in Shelley Duval's live action series Fairy Tale Theater as the Mirror in Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs and the narrator for The Boy Who Left Home to find out about the Shivers. In 1987, he starred with Betty Davis, Lillian Gish, and Anne Southern in The Wales of August, a story of two sisters living in Maine facing the end of their days. His performance in The Wales of August earned the only award nomination of his career, an Independent Spirit Award nomination for Best Supporting Actor. In 1989, Price was inducted into the St. Louis Walk of Fame. His last significant film work was as the inventor in Tim Burton's Edward Scissorhands, 1990. In 1990, Price recorded the narration as the Phantom for Disneyland Paris's Phantom Manor. After the attraction opened in 1992, though, the narration was shortly removed and replaced with one entirely in French, performed by Gérard Chevalier. Only Price's infamous laughter remained on the soundtrack. In 2018, during Phantom Manor's major renovation, parts of Price's narration were announced to be restored to the soundtrack of the attraction. Since the 2019 reopening, the new tracks are dual language, Price's original excerpts as well as previously unused material from his 1990 recording comprise the English-speaking portions, while actor Bernard Alain voices the Phantom in French. Price, who studied art history, along with English, at Yale, was an art lover and collector. He was a commissioner of the Indian Arts and Crafts Board. In 1957, impressed by the spirit of the students and the community's need for the opportunity to experience original artworks firsthand, Vincent and Mary Grant Price donated 90 pieces from their private collection and a large amount of money to establish the Vincent Price Art Museum at East Los Angeles College in Monterey Park, California, which was the first teaching art collection owned by a community college in the United States. They ultimately donated some 2,000 pieces, the collection contains over 9,000 pieces and has been valued in excess of $5 million. Price also spent time working as an art consultant for Sears Roebuck, from 1962 to 1971, Sears offered the Vincent Price collection of fine art, selling about 50,000 fine art prints to the general public. Works which Price selected or commissioned for the collection included some by Rembrandt, Pablo Picasso, and Salvador Dali. Public access to fine art was important to Price, who according to his daughter Victoria, saw the Sears deal as an opportunity to put his populist beliefs into practice, to bring art to the American public. Price amassed his own extensive collection of art, and in 2008, a painting bought for $25 by a couple from Dallas was identified as a piece from Price's collection. Painted by leading Australian modernist Grace Cossington Smith, it was given a modern valuation of $45,000 Australian dollars. Price was a gourmet cook, and he authored several cookbooks with his second wife, Mary. These include A Treasury of Great Recipes, 1965. Mary and Vincent Price present A National Treasury of Cookery, 1967. Mary and Vincent Price's Come Into the Kitchen Cookbook, A Collector's Treasury of America's Great Recipes, 1969. Cooking Price Wise with Vincent Price, 1971. Mary and Vincent Price present A National Treasury of Cookery was a five-volume series, packaged in a box set and published by the Heirloom Publishing Company. These five books were combined into a single book two years later and published as Mary and Vincent Price's Come Into the Kitchen Cookbook, a collector's treasury of America's great recipes. Most of the Price's cookbooks remained in print throughout the 1970s. 
After being out of print for several decades, two of their books were reprinted, A Treasury of Great Recipes, in August 2015 by Calu Editions, and Mary and Vincent Price's Come Into the Kitchen Cookbook, in November 2016 by Calu Editions, both featuring new forewords by their daughter Victoria Price. Cooking Price Wise with Vincent Price was scheduled to be reprinted by Dover Publishing in October 2017 under the updated title Cooking Price Wise, the original foodie. In 1971, Price hosted his own cooking program on British TV, called Cooking Price Wise produced for the ITV network by Thames Television, which was broadcast in April and May 1971. This show gave its name to Price's fourth and final cookbook later that year. Price promoted his cookbooks on many talk shows, one of the most famous instances being the November 21, 1975, broadcast of The Tonight Show starring Johnny Carson, when he demonstrated how to poach a fish in a dishwasher. Price recorded a number of audio cooking tutorials titled International Cooking Course. These were titled Bounty of Paradise, Classical Spanish Cuisine, Cuisine Italiana, Delights from the Sultan's Pantry, Dinner at the Casbah, Dining at Versailles, Exotic Delights from the Far East, Food of the Gods, Foods from the Austro-Hungarian Empire, La Cocina Mexicana, The Bard's Board, and The Wok. In addition to those, he recorded an audio wine course titled Wine is Elegance. These audio recordings were released on 33 and 1 third LPs by Nelson Industries in 1977, and were also packaged in a 12 cassette box set titled Beverly Hills Cookbook, Cookbook of the Rich and Famous, your host Mr. Vincent Price. In August 1982, he co-hosted A Taste of China for Britain's Thames Television slash ITV over five episodes. He also prepared a fish recipe on Wolfgang Puck's Cooking with Wolfgang Puck VHS, released in October 1987 by Warner Home Video. Price married three times. His first marriage was in 1938 to former actress Edith Barrett, they had one son, poet and columnist Vincent Barrett Price. Edith and Price divorced in 1948. Price married Mary Grant in 1949, and they had a daughter, inspirational speaker Victoria Price on April 27, 1962, naming her after Price's first major success in the play Victoria Regina. The marriage lasted until 1973. He married Australian actress Coral Brown in 1974, she had appeared as one of his victims in Theatre of Blood, 1973. The marriage lasted until her death in 1991. His daughter's biography Vincent Price, a daughter's biography, 1999, details Price's early anti-Semitism and initial admiration for Adolf Hitler. According to his daughter, when he went to Germany and Austria as a young man, he was struck by a lot of things going on during the Weimar Republic and the dissolution of the empire. So when Hitler came into power, instead of seeing him as a dangerous force, he was sort of swept up in this whole idea that Hitler was going to bring German pride back. However, Price became a liberal after becoming friends with New York intellectuals such as Dorothy Parker and Lillian Hellman in the 1930s, so much so that he was grey-listed under McCarthyism in the 1950s, for having been a pre-war premature anti-Nazi, and after being unable to find work for a year, agreed to requests by the FBI that he sign a secret oath to save his career. His daughter said that her father became so liberal that one of my brother's earliest memories is when Franklin Roosevelt's death was announced, my father fell backwards off the sofa sobbing. Price denounced racial and religious prejudice as a form of poison at the end of an episode of The Saint, which aired on NBC Radio on July 30, 1950, claiming that Americans must actively fight against it because racial and religious prejudice within the United States fuels support for the nation's enemies. He was later appointed to the Indian Arts and Crafts Board under the Dwight D. Eisenhower administration, he called the appointment kind of a surprise, since I am a Democrat. He was supportive of his daughter when she came out as a lesbian, and he was critical of Anita Bryant's anti-gay rights campaign in the 1970s. 
Price suffered from chronic obstructive pulmonary disease and Parkinson's disease. His symptoms were especially severe during the filming of Edward Scissorhands, making cutting his filming schedule short a necessity. His illness also contributed to his retirement from mystery. In 1989, he died at age 82 of lung cancer on October 25, 1993, at his home in Los Angeles. His remains were cremated and his ashes scattered off Point Doom in Malibu, California.